Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. These guys are getting ready for school. Are you excited for school? Yeah. No. <laughs> are you sure you said it like you were? Are you, Ben? You're not excited to see yeah. your friends and go back and see what all your friends got for Christmas and talk about your holiday? First day back to school. Um, ignore all the chaos over there. Um, Mommy! We're just getting ready to pack up lunches. We're kind of a little bit pressed for time here. I thought I was organized when I went to bed last night, but... Anyway, we're a little out of practice after Christmas break. I hope you guys all had a really nice um, Christmas break. I didn't get as many Christmas videos out as I um, had thought. I just, we were sick the first half of December and, oh, can somebody put Daisy up for a pop? Can somebody put Daisy up? And um, I found the month of December just kind of got away from us with sickness and then um, just Christmas was here and I just didn't have a whole lot of time to make videos. But anyway... Here we are, a whole new year, so I hope you guys had a really nice Christmas and a happy new year, and I can't believe that it's 2023. Um, but anyway, I better get started with these lunches. So if you're new here, my name is Lindsay, and I'm a Canadian mom. Uh, we have four kids, um, three out of four are in school. So this is Ben's lunch. He's at eight years old, and he's in grade two. His container's looking kind of sparse here. But anyway, he has a tuna sandwich. I didn't go for groceries yesterday. I probably should have, but I thought I have enough stuff to pack them a lunch, so I'm not too worried about it. So he has a tuna sandwich. If I pack him a whole sandwich, um, he always brings it home. So he has a baby bell in there. He has just a small piece of gumdrop cake that was left over. He has water to drink, and I'm going to pack him another water bottle. He picked cheeses for a snack. And he has an orange. So this is Audrey's lunch. Audrey's in grade primary. She's five, soon to be six. Hey, Audrey. Audrey and Emily both have birthdays this month. Um, so she has water to drink in her classroom, water to have with her lunch. She has the same tuna sandwich as Ben, the same baby bell, and she has some garlic stuffed olives. Uh, there's a lot of um, a lot going on in the background here. Um, Audrey has the clementine, the same as Ben, and she picked cheese and crackers for a snack. And then this is Jacob. Jacob's lunch. This is Jacob's lunch. He's in grade five. He's ten. So he has a tuna sandwich. He has the whole sandwich. He's taking uh, water. He got this water bottle for Christmas, so he wanted to take that. Oh, your label's not staying on it, Jacob. Um, he has the orange. He has the olives. And he has the gumdrop cake. And he was supposed to go down and pick something from downstairs. But he didn't. Are you taking a snack from downstairs? Yeah. Okay, you better go pick because it's getting late. Do you want to grab the lunch bags, Audrey, and the ice packs? So that's what they're taking for lunch. Um, just had to wait for Jacob to grab his snack. Okay, bring your lunch bags over. All right, and Jacob decided on a, um, a cereal bar. So anyway, that's their lunches for their first day back to school after the break. So we'll see you after school. Bye. Did you have a good first day back? Yeah. Did everybody have a good first day back? Yeah. Ben, oh, what's going on? i got to look at your ski pants. I ate my orange. Yeah, I thought I fixed them this morning, but they yeah, your orange, olives. your olives. And my sandwich. Good job. Did you eat your gum drop cake? Oh, yeah. Alright, do you want to do your lunch bag? Did you have a good first day back then? Yeah. Did you? Emily is happy to see everybody. Emily? She doesn't every time. Emily, can you pick up your coat and put your shoes on the porch? Yes. Thank you. Abby, did you wash your hands? No. The kids are coming home with lots of papers and... Jacob, did you wash your hands? Yeah. Okay. Wash your hands and then you can get a snack. There you are, Ben. How'd you do with your lunch? Your right, you're rum gum drop cake. The boys wore their new sweaters that they got for Christmas today. Ben got a nice black champion sweater. Looks really nice on him. And Jacob got a nice blue one. Uh-oh, you brought home your orange. What are you coming with, Emily? Oh, dear, Ben. Not off to a great start. You ate your baby bell. Well, you didn't eat your old orange, and you didn't finish your sandwich. All right, are you going to finish any of that as part of your after-school snack? What? You don't really want to. Emily's at your water bottle over there. All right, I always encourage the kids to eat 
what they didn't eat in their lunch to eat as part of their after school snack, but they don't always want to. Okay, yeah, do you eat your orange? Your dishes can go in the sink. Okay, Ben? Well, somebody might eat the orange. And you can put your ice pack in the freezer. Yeah. How did you do, Audrey? Audrey's... Oh, good job. Ben had some blood work done, didn't you, Ben? Recently to see if there's anything going on with him because he just feels so full all the time and that. Audrey, you did great with your lunch. Okay, you can put your ice pack in the freezer. All right, so we don't have any snow here. It's a green Christmas this year. Okay, as long as you drink some. All right, so that is going to be their lunches for Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, and um, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye bye. Are you going to eat Ben's sandwich? <laughs> That's all right. If she wants to eat it, she can better than wasting it. You can have that. No, the other side. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. It's Wednesday morning here this morning. It's a dark morning out there. It's uh, It was really dark this morning. We'll get up and we're supposed to get some rain today. And some rain and snow tomorrow. Um, so the kids for lunch today, they're taking some craft Dinner, some macaroni and cheese. I'm getting low on groceries. I haven't actually been to get groceries. I mean, I stopped in to get, I think, some eggs and a couple of things. But I haven't been for an actual grocery order since before Christmas. I find over the holidays you're just kind of eating different, so... But we're starting to get low on stuff now that the kids are back to school and I'm trying to pack lunches. So um, they're taking a craft dinner today. So I boiled water and let that sit in their thermos for 15 minutes and to keep the craft dinner warm. So they have that in their thermos. This is Audrey's lunch. She has water. Audrey, you can put your other water bottle in your backpack. Yeah. They always take um, water to drink in their lunch and then um, more water for in their backpacks. Or for in their classrooms, I mean, they're taking these uh, veggie chips, or just the same as veggie straws, or just in the shape of chips. Um, I was getting low on fruit, so I asked them if they wanted clementines or peaches, and they picked peaches, so they have those in there. I feel like they're going to need a lot of silverware today. Um, they have an applesauce, and then Audrey picked a cheese and crackers, and then I'll pack her a spoon for her applesauce, and a spoon for her craft dinner. Audrey, you might have to use that same spoon for your peaches. Um, this is Jacob's lunch. Hold on, Daisy. Um, so he has his water bottle to drink. He just takes the one and he likes to fill it through the day. He got that one for Christmas, so he's enjoying taking that. He has a craft dinner. He picked cheesy crackers for one of his snacks. And he has the peaches and the veggie chips and the applesauce. They're all taking the exact same thing. Um, this is Ben's. Ben's in grade two. So he has his um, craft dinner. He's taking water and he'll put a water bottle, another water bottle in his backpack. He picked Cheez-Its for a snack. So he kind of has two um, cracker snacks. I don't know if he, if he knew that or not. Um, he has the veggie chips, the applesauce, and he has the same peaches as everybody else. I asked him, what fruit will you eat? Because he didn't eat his orange yesterday. And I told him we only have oranges and peaches. And he said he'd eat the peaches, so we will see. Do you want to say good morning? No. <laughs> so anyway, that is going to be their lunches for Wednesday. A short week here, so um, I should be going to the grocery store today, but honestly, I don't know if I'll get there or not. Anyway, we'll see you after school. All right, everybody's home from school. It's getting a little chaotic here for a second. How was your day, Audrey? Good. That's good. You wait your peaches. Daisy's excited that everybody's home. Oh, awesome job, Audrey. I can when I have the first You couldn't wait to have your craft dinner. Good job, you ate everything. I thought you said you didn't finish all your lunch. Oh, what's that? Daisy! Oh, you brought home your cheese and crackers. Okay, you can have those now if you want. Okay. Um, Audrey, wash how about washing your hands before you have your crackers though, okay? You gonna play headbands? <laughs> Alright, how'd you do with your lunch, Jacob? I know already that you ate everything. I ate all my crust today. Okay, good job. And my peaches. Good. And my applesauce. They all my snacks. Good job. I've been trying to clear out some stuff since Christmas. This is a bag of um, donation stuff that I'm working on. I got some nice new containers for Christmas for cereal. 
So while the kids were in school today, I was trying to get those washed out and get the cereal in them. Trying to get organized after Christmas. I still need to take down our Christmas decorations. You want some help? All right, Ben, how'd you do with your lunch? You ate your veggie straws. Oh, oh, was that your peaches? Is that what leaked on it? Oh, you didn't eat? Oh, dear. That's why I'm always worried about putting stuff like that. Why did that container leak? Because they have a little seal in them. Okay, well, it feels like there's... Okay, let's bring it over to the sink then, maybe, Ben. It was very sticky. Was it? Yeah, I don't want to... Yeah, these are my new um, cereal containers that my um, sister-in-law gave me for Christmas. It came with four of those, so I was trying to get them washed and and put in the, um, get the cereal put in them. So they're taking up some space here. But anyway, okay, Ben. So, maybe your water, your peaches, although it doesn't feel like, so what leaked, I wonder? Maybe it was just your water, was it? Yeah, I'll just say that. Anyway, Ben had a bit of a mess with his, so is there much craft dinner left in there? It feels like it. All right, so Ben, his lunch got a little bit messy, so he barely ate. He says he's going to have that now, though. Um, if you don't want your peaches, Emily will probably eat them, and I'll have to get to the grocery store, um, I don't know, tonight or sometime soon. We're having chili for supper, so that's looking and smelling good. And um, anyway, that was our lunches for Wednesday, so we'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. Ignore the sound of my voice. I don't know if, if you can hear it or not, but I just, I feel like I'm getting just a little bit of some sort of sickness, like a cold, kind of something in my chest. But anyway, uh, so ignore that. For lunches today, I still didn't get to the grocery store, so I'm still just trying to pack uh, from what I have. So anyway, they're not, they're not too bad at lunches, but I'm, I don't have any more fruit except for a few canned peaches, but tomorrow's Friday, so the kids won't starve anyway. Um, so this is Jacob's lunch. Jacob's in grade five. I probably already said that another morning. So there was a little bit of tuna in the fridge um, left over. So Jacob is taking a tuna sandwich. Good morning. Did you get your teeth brushed? Okay, we'll do your hair in a minute. Um, Jacob has a tuna sandwich and he has some dill pickles. It looks like a lot of dill pickles, but it's only two. I just I sliced them up for him. Can you ever smell them? Um, he has his water bottle. He just likes to take one. He's taking a white cheddar rice cake for a snack. In this container, he has some peaches. I'll have to pack him a fork. He likes to have a fork for those. Um, he's taking a yogurt. And then he picked a, um, a cereal bar and oh, some cheese and crackers. Okay, maybe we'll... We'll give Jacob, we'll have to get Jacob a fork and maybe we'll get him a clean spoon since that one fell on the floor. Audrey wants to do hers, but this is Ben's. So we'll do yours in one second. So Ben has water to drink through the day and water for his lunch. Him and Audrey are taking oatmeal in their thermoses. So I put boiling water in their thermos and let it sit in there. And the oatmeal is in the fridge, so I just added some syrup and some milk, put it in the microwave and put that in their thermos. Ben loves oatmeal, so I know he'll eat that. Um, they have a yogurt drink, so I might just put a little ice pack in the front of their, in the little pouch of their rum lunch bag. Ben picked Cheez-Its for a treat. He is taking an orange that he'll probably bring home. A spoon for his oatmeal. Okay, Audrey, what are you taking? Oatmeal. Yep. Yeah. Orange. Audrey has the orange, too. You're going to eat your orange, right? Yes. Clementine. Yes. My applesauce and my Cheez-Its and my white cake. And then she has a spoon for her oatmeal. And you're going to eat all your lunch? All right, I was um, trying to fill my new containers. I have to go to take these up to my neighbor. She does all kinds of um, jams and preserves. So I'm gonna drop those off when I take the kids to school. Anyway, so that is what everybody's taking for lunch. So they were calling for dirty weather here today. They were calling for a mix of snow and rain today. So we'll see what the day brings. Anyway, we will see you after school. And I forgot to mention that Audrey is taking water to drink. So she has water for her lunch and water to drink in her classroom. The kids are home from school. It's a really chilly day out there, isn't it, Ben? Did you find a cold? No, I didn't. No? You, ate, you drank? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter. They're both good. You drank your yogurt drink? Oh, you ate half of your orange. Did you eat that other half? Yeah. 
I I didn't I half of my day some of this half. Okay. It wasn't peeled that good. It wasn't peeled that good. Yeah. I still need all your oatmeal because you love oatmeal. Good job, Ben. But you can just put it on this side because they're both dirty. All right, and you ate all your snacks. You can take your spoon out. All right, Jacob's in line here to do his next. Okay, you can just leave the orange. Somebody might, Emily might eat it, or you could have it. Okay, do you want to put your lunch bag in the cupboard? It wasn't peeled that good. Okay, well, you can peel it better if you'd like. How'd you do, Jacob? I know you ate everything. Oh, you brought home your yogurt. I was wrong, you didn't eat everything. But I can go in the fridge. I ate all my peaches. Okay. Any side, because they're both, they're both dirty. You need a sandwich in your pickles. Oh, you can never smell the pickles from your Thank container. You. Thank you. And I eat all this Okay. Hello? What are you looking for, Emily? Hello? What would you like? Hello? All right, the kids are getting after school Hello? snacks. Okay, Audrey, you're going over there and empty yours. How'd you do with your lunch, Audrey? I think I see an orange in there. No, no. Oh, good no. job. You ate all your oatmeal. No. Ben's trying to help. Emily, are you making a mess with your applesauce? Oh, you brought home your orange too. I didn't really like it because You didn't really like it? All right, I need, I really need to get to the store and get some fruit. You drank your yogurt drink and you ate your rice cake. Did I give you an applesauce or no? I forget. Yeah. Did I? Okay, you ate that. I can't complain though because the kids, like most mornings if I ask them, what do you want for your lunch? A lot of times they'll just say, Jacob will often say, like, just pack me whatever and I'll eat it. Like tomorrow I didn't ask Audrey if she wanted oatmeal. I just made her and Ben oatmeal. So um, I really can't complain about, about packing their lunches. They're, they're pretty good to go with the flow. So anyway, okay. you're being a good brother, eh, Ben? How do I got Emily's orange? Your orange. Oh. I don't think she's going to want them in her applesauce, though, Ben. She might not like that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> excuse me. Um, it's going to be cold today. I think it's going to be cold tomorrow. The comes a little bit of snow tomorrow. So you might have snow when you go to school tomorrow. So anyway, tomorrow's Friday. It's the weekend. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning here this morning. Uh, I'm sorry for the sound of my voice. I've been trying to clear my throat before I uh, press record on this. I said so much better than I did when I first got up this morning. Um, Audrey's classes haven't show and tell today, so I was just asking her, did she want to show everybody what you're taking? You're taking, she's taking a little Barbie camper that she got. Her nanny gave you that. There's your marshmallow stick. Jacob's gone downstairs to look for her camper, and there's a little car that comes with it, and she can... Did you find her fire? No. No? Okay. Well, you can tell them it comes with a fire anyway. So she's bringing that in for show and tell. Jacob's having his show and tell next week. And I don't know if Ben's going to have a show and tell or not. Um, anyway, for lunches today, they are taking... Actually, I can show you. Because um, I have one left. They're taking just these here pizza rounds from Walmart. I had some of those in the freezer, so I took those out and let them thaw. Um... And I just put them in the microwave and I wrapped them in foil. So this is Audrey's lunch. So she just wanted a half. She said she didn't think she'd eat a whole one. She has some grapes in there. She has an applesauce, water to drink, and then I still have to fill another her other water bottle. She has a white cheddar rice cake for a snack. Um, she has a spoon for her applesauce. And this is Ben's lunch. I still need to find his other water bottle as well. Um, but he has water to drink. He has the exact same pizza. He has the other half of Audrey's. We're gonna we'll put it in a reusable bag in a minute. Um, ben has the other half of Audrey's pizza. He has grapes in there for a fruit. In his little bag here, he has kind of a mixture. He has some of these here crispy minis, but there weren't a whole lot left, so I just put a few of these crackers in there. So he has those for a snack. Um, he has his applesauce, a spoon for his applesauce, and then this is Jacob's lunch. So Jacob wanted a whole pizza, so. I just cut his in half and stacked them and wrapped it in foil and put it in a bag. He has water to drink. He picked an apple cinnamon cereal bar. 
He has grapes. He has the applesauce. He has the same uh, sweet chili uh, rice cakes as uh, Ben. And if you're new here, I always send the kids with just a special little treat on Friday. The special Friday treat for the recess snack. So I'm just going to get that out now. And they never know what it is. They don't find out until they open their lunch bags at recess uh, what they have. So I'm just going to get those out now. All right. So I need to refill my... Um, Friday treat stashed. I'm starting to get low now, or I am. I won't have enough for next week. But Jacob, Audrey, and Ben. So anyway, that's what they're taking for their Friday treat, and we'll see you after school. How's your day at school? Good. That's good. I'm a little zoomed in here, I think. You brought your bag home. I told her said you can bring your bag home. I didn't have any sandwich bags to put her um her rice cake in. Was it good? Oh, good job, Audrey. All right, so you can put that in the sink and we'll put, get your lunch bag put away. All right, Jackie, is it going to empty yours? All right, how was your day, Jacob? I ate my pizza. You ate your grapes. Was your pizza um, warm? Ben's using his microphone if you're wondering what that funny sound is. Did you like your Friday treat? Yeah. Alright. Okay, it's just Ben left. Ben, you gonna empty your lunch for us? Yeah. Okay, bring over your lunch. How was your Friday treat, Ben? I didn't even know I had these. Oh, you didn't see them in there? No. It's yours is a mixture. I love you too. Yours is a mixture of um, crackers and those little rice cakes. You can have them for an after school treat if you want. We're going to make some hot chocolate for an after school snack today because it's Friday and it's a little chilly after our walk home. Yeah, like apple time. Oh, look at Emily. She's anxious to see if Ben ate all of his lunch. You ate your applesauce. Yes, that's my pizza. <laughs> Did Ben eat all of his lunch? All right, you did a good job, Ben. Were the grapes good? Mm -hmm. All right, so you ate everything then, eh, Ben? Yeah. That's good. Uh, Everybody I had a good week these. at school? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you didn't. You can have those now if you want to. You can just have them later on, or Emily might like one. Uh, you going to get into Ben's snacks? I washed my hands. Good job. Hi. Well, that is it for this week's lunch video. Our first lunch video of 2023, one of many, I suppose. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from our family or more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Are you trying to come in here? Um, thank you for watching. Audrey, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. And we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. Say bye-bye, Emily. Oh, they can't see Emily. Oh. Say bye-bye.